Hi, how are you? Matt Watson here from CarWow. So I'm sat in a heavily modified Volkswagen Touareg V10 diesel, and next to me is a heavily modified Land Rover Discovery. And we're going to have a drag race off-road and then compare these cars in a series of off-road challenges to see which is the best. And our off-road expert, Graham, he'll be grading each car's performance across those obstacles. And the car that wins the challenge gets two points. The one that comes second gets one point. And if a car doesn't finish a challenge or is disqualified by Graham, it gets no points. At the end of the video, the car with the most points wins. So let me tell you about this Touareg. It's a 2007 model year with 136,000 miles on the clock. It's got a five litre V10 diesel, which only puts out 310 horsepower, but dark side developments have tuned the engine, ECU remap, they've messed around with the exhaust system, the cats, the particulate filters. In fact, the exhaust system looks really cool. And they've upgraded the intercooler. The result is 350 horsepower, which you might think is 40 horsepower. Big stories in the torque though. Standard car, 750 Newton meters. This one, 1,000. Oh, and on top of that, we've also got a 50 millimeter lift to the suspension. We've got some proper off-road wheels and tires, a load of underbody protection, a snorkel, a winch, blah, blah, loads of stuff. Even paint that you normally use to line the low beds of pickup trucks. It's hard wearing, so it won't scratch while off-roading, which is good news. In terms of the price, well, the base Touareg cost £5,000, but then dark side developments, all the work they did, came to £15,000. This is a £20,000 car. I bet it's still cheaper than that Discovery. Let's find out about it from Nick. So Nick, can you tell me about the Disco? So this is a Land Rover Discovery 5. It has a three litre turbocharged diesel V6 engine, an eight-speed automatic gearbox, and a clever four-wheel drive system with low range and all sorts of locking diffs and that sort of thing. The engine produced 258 horsepower standard but this car has been tuned so it has 306 horsepower it also has 600 newton meters of torque and every single accessory i think it's possible to fit to a discovery 5 it has winches it has light bars bash bars six millimeter armored plates underneath it has a kitchen inside matt and a tent on the roof you could live in this thing i don't think the kitchen or the tent on the roof is going to be helping you today all right they're going to add weight and that tent is adding weight to the wrong part of the car the roof so it's going to knock your center of gravity do you know what that thing weighs yes I do I really really hoped you wouldn't ask that but this discovery used to weigh just under 2.2 tons which is quite a lot but now the owner tells me it weighs 3.4 tons so this is a bit over two and a half tons so I've got a weight advantage here I haven't got such a trick four-wheel drive system as you but it's still a good one so I've got a low range mode and I've got a center and a rear locking diff but I know the electronics aren't quite as good as in that more advanced discovery and I've got adaptable air suspension which you have as well so electronic wise you've got the edge but you're a bit of a porky deer and, and you've got the ugliest rear end of any suv ever it looks like you're missing most of your car matt people in glass houses and all that are you trying to film a mad max sequel or something no it's because people want to be able to see the exhaust oh and they want to hear it right let's do a sound check because this sounds better than your car i know that without even hearing your car so listen to this Oh, that last bit, like, <laughs> oh, I love that last bit. Go on, let's see yours. This will be crap. <sighs> anyway, if you like these kind of videos, crazy off-road videos, make sure you're subscribed to this channel and hit the bell icon to turn your notifications on. That way you won't miss a single upload. Now let's get into it. Let's see which of these beasts is best off-road. Buy, sell, car, wow. Speaking of which, this car actually has a little label down there that says beast mode. I wonder what that does. It's covering up another button. I might deploy that later. Three, two, one. No! I cocked that up. The pickup on this wasn't good enough. I didn't brake boost well enough. I really didn't. Oh, Nick, you had me there. This was absolutely wild. I don't believe it weighs 3.4 tons after that. I was shocked at that. So was I. Was to it be fair, driver error? Weight. No, I was just saying these fat tyres just spread the weight a little bit and it just couldn't get power down. Hmm. So if the tyres were slightly narrow, it would have... You would have had it. You would have had it. I've got too much girth, guys. Just too much girth. It's always been my problem. Like me, too much in the middle. I wasn't talking about that kind of girth, <laughs> obviously. Anyway, so two points to the Discovery, one point to the Touareg. 
This next challenge is all about maneuverability and a lack of care for your vehicle's well-being. Because what we've got to do is drive through these trees here, then at the end tree we're going to go round it hairpin turn, so that'll test the car's maneuverability. Then on the way back we're going to be going over some ruts and bumps and stuff like that. But the thing is, Graham is going to be timing us, so we've got to have to go as quickly as we can. Driving over those bumps too quickly can damage the vehicles. So that's where a little bit of how much of a risk taker you are comes in. Hopefully I'm not going to damage this car. Hopefully Nick's not going to damage that car. So Nick, what is the value of that car, do you think? Well, the owner has insured it because of all the mods for £100,000. Okay, so you better not damage it. You could say that, yep. Now is an appropriate time to say thanks to the guys who lent us the discovery to timelessoverland.co.uk. So they put on off-roading events and stuff like guided tours throughout the UK. There's a link to them in the description. Go check them out, say thanks. Anyway, let's do this. There goes the discovery. It's gonna be interesting to see how he gets around the corner. It's turning circles 12.3 meters. This is just 11. So I do have an advantage there, as well as having a, a less expensive vehicle to replace. Oh, it's a bit slow around there. Oh no, oh, I'm slipping wide. Very slow, but he did make it around. That turning circle is not great. Oh, here we go. He's taking it steady through there. The £100,000 is just there, weighing heavy on his mind. I think I've got this. Right then, Graham, if you can just show your phone with a stopwatch to okay, the camera. Yeah, nice sedate. 26.86. I'm going to beat that, right? You should do. I don't need to go too crazy then. No. Just going to chill. Gentle stroll in a yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to see how close I can make it while still winning. I might actually just go full on balls out, actually. So I'm going low range mode with the central diff locked. I'm going to try and do a thing here. When I go around, when I use the diff to pull the car around. There we go. So that, the well slid around the corner. That just nailed it. <laughs> it helped make a much tighter turning circle. And this is just an easy win. Whoa. Bosh. Do you like my um, turn around the uh, tree? Yes. Like that? It's good, isn't it? Yeah, well done. I did it right, didn't yeah. I? Yeah, slid it round. 20.19, and I wasn't even trying. No. Turning circle on this, and I did a better job of sliding it around the corner yeah. than he did. That's got a lot of weight to move around the corner. No, I'm a superior driver, Graham. Yeah. Oh, that's, that, that's well, exactly what it is, of course it is. Right. Wouldn't expect anything else. <laughs> <laughs> so two points to the Volkswagen and one to the Disco. So that means in total, three points each. This next challenge is about making it down a steep, slippery slope as smoothly and effortlessly as possible. And unlike with the last challenge, which was a race against the clock to see who's the quickest, this one is a race against the clock to see who is the slowest. Now, the idea is, is that we get to the top and we lift off our brakes and let the car just take us down the slope. I know that in that Discovery, he has hill descent control and he can actually alter the speed of it using buttons on the steering wheel. This car doesn't seem to have a button for hill descent control at all. I've heard heard that if I put it into manual mode for the gearbox, have everything in low and all the diffs locked, and as I'm going down, I dad the brakes once, it should start to brake itself then, but I'm not sure that's going to happen. I'm going to try it, and if it doesn't work, it's going to be quite a quick journey down that slope and a definite loss for me. Now, if you're thinking about getting an SUV and you want one for just normal driving rather than crazy off-roading, and you want to see the latest offers through CarWow, I picked out my favorite 10 SUVs. If you want to find out what they are, click on the pop-out button up there for the link in the description below to check them out on CarWow. Let's go on with this challenge. Hill descent control, engage, feet off the pedals. Oh, blimey, this is quite scary. Ho, 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 ho. Oh, you can feel how heavy this thing is. So your time to beat. Yeah, go on, let's hold on, what has he got? 17.75 seconds. Hmm, cool, I'll, I'll try to beat it. Okay. Uh, I'm not convinced. <laughs> Good luck. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> Lifting off the brake, dabbing the brake, slow it. Does it now do it? No. Oh, it does do it. It does work-ish, ish. But it was a bit like, what normally happens when you hear that sound. <laughs> Made it. Yeah. So that's 8.45 seconds. So about half the time. Half the time. It did seem to like do a hell to control. It was control. ripping a little bit, but yeah, it was nowhere near as good as the. No. 
the discos. You know what that means? How many points? Two. Yes. One. One, which means you do the maths. Disco winning so far. Yeah. Uh, I haven't been counting, to be honest. <laughs> Good job I have, <laughs> right? So that means five to the Land Rover and four to the Volkswagen. This next challenge tests the car's chassis articulation, their suspension travel, their traction systems. We're gonna drive up these rocky steps and then we're gonna turn around and drive back down them. And the car that does it with the most finesse wins. It's as simple as that. Now, ground clearance does come into this. This car's normal ground clearance is 240 millimeters and it's been lifted up to 290 millimeters. What's the ground clearance on that, mate? 283 millimeters is the standard discovery ground clearance but this one has had some suspension tweaks that mean it has 358 millimeters of ground clearance well you got me beaten in terms of ground clearance the rest of the suspension both cars have got all-round independent suspension on air springs but once again your car is newer and it's just more sophisticated in terms of its electronics and its traction system isn't it that's it you hit the nail on the head there matt this car is infinitely cleverer than i am so i'm gonna let it do its thing i mean rock crawl mode i'm in low range and i'm ready to go i'm in low mode i don't have such kind of fine tuning as you with your different actual terrain modes but i am locking my rear diff and of course i don't have a big heavy tent on the roof and weigh well over three tons so that could go against you as could the fact that i'm an absolutely awesome expert off-roader I can really see the effect of that tent just causing the car to lean more. But it's amazing how it's keeping on going, just smoothly driving. And that's what I've got to do. I've got to make sure that I don't spin my wheels too much because Graham will penalise me for that. Oh, 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 hello. Oh, hello. That was interesting. It struggled a bit at the top. So I need to make sure I've got enough power to do that last bit at the top. There is an advantage to going second. Graham doesn't seem to want to give me any help. He never gives me any help. I'm just gonna drive steadily. Got up there dead easy. No pausing, no stopping. But it ain't over yet. We've got to go back down. There he goes. Once again, he's got that benefit of the hill descent control, which could help him go down there really smoothly. But <laughs> once again, He's got the disadvantage of that silly big heavy tent on the roof. But he's doing it. Now I can't just use brute force maximum torque to get down. I've got to do it with finesse. There we go. Use my brakes and just frontal down. This is fairly easy. Look at this, this is just so easy. Look at this. Well, I don't want to put words into your mouth, Graham, but I would say that the mods that have been done to the that have gone against it yes. somewhat, haven't they? They have. White went against it. This one. Both up and down, really. Both up and down, yeah. So then, what are the scores? Two for this. One for the disco. Right, that means that it's all square. Six points each. This next challenge also tests these cars. Suspension, ground clearance, wheel articulation, and their traction. But more so than the other challenge, it tests the driver's ability to follow Graham's instructions. Because we're going to do a rock crawl over some very treacherous rocks which could damage these vehicles, even though they've been heavily modified. We've actually damaged some cars on this section of rocks before. If you want to see what I'm talking about, click on the pop-out banner up there, I'll put the link in the description below to go watch a video where both me and Yanni destroy some SUVs here. Hopefully we won't destroy these because the owners won't be very happy. And I must say thank you to the owners, the guy who lent us the discovery at Land Rover Discovery 5. It's his Instagram, go check it out, link in the description. The guys who lent me this, Darkside Developments. They have a YouTube channel, link in the description. Go follow them, they do loads of like modded SUVs, diesels and stuff like that. So go check them out. You might not see this vehicle on their channel ever again if I destroy it right now, but let's go ahead. I think I need beast mode for this. Let's see what some of this beast mode. Oh, actually, this is gonna come in handy. It's a ride height lock. I'm gonna press that and lock the ride height 
as high as it will go because I need maximum ground clearance at all times. I've got all my diff locks on. What is your advantage, do you think, on this section, Nick? I think my biggest advantage, besides the ultra long travel high riding suspension, is all my clever diffs and traction control. Hasn't it got a specific rock crawl mode as well? It certainly does, Matt, and that has already served me well going up and down those steps. So I think this being its natural habitat is going to do even better. You do recall losing when we were going up and down the steps though, right? You lost that. So maybe it ain't going to make a difference. Let's find out. Go ahead. <sighs> Look at that heavy tent on the roof. Just like leaning right back. <laughs> oh. oh! It just slipped off that rock. Oh! Watch those alloys. Don't run Graham over. Actually, that thing rides so high that Graham could just like crawl underneath it. It'd be fine. That's the bit there. Going around there. Come on, Nick. I haven't got all day. Ooh, good thing we got six mil of metal underneath. <laughs> Doing well. Follow Graham precisely. I can barely see him over the bonnet. <laughs> to lift your arms up, mate. <laughs> he wins there, that was not a good luck. <laughs> Oh, he's wincing ever so slightly. <laughs> it worries me when he does that. Also, when this comes on boost, it starts to lurch forward a bit. And I'm worried about just driving over him. Ooh. A bit more that way. I'm left foot braking now. Wheel's dead straight. a lot of wincing. I don't know where I'm going at all, I'm just totally trusting Graham. We're out of there. Right, let's see what he thought. I mean, the expression on his face wasn't great. Uh, so, Graham, I noticed you did a lot of wincing. Yes. I'm not sure whether you were wincing when the Discovery was driving over there. Not quite as much. Oh. The only thing that I was wincing at, this has got big wide tires on it. Okay. So did you notice you slid a little sideways as a, you were on the rocks? A little bit. Yeah, so that one slightly narrower tires plus the weight advantage. What an advantage? Yeah, kept the wheels down. Right. On the rocks. I thought I drove it better than him though. You drove it better but the car done it better. I'm afraid the Discovery wins on that one. Two points to the Land Two Rover. Two to the Discovery. Two to the Volk. No. Nice try, Matt. One to the <laughs> Volkswagen. That means eight to the Land Rover in total, seven to the Touareg. Here we are, final challenge. But before we do this, if you'd like to see which 
is the best off-road a Range Rover or a Toyota Land Cruiser V8? Then click on the pop-out banner up there or follow the link in the description below to go watch that video. If not, we're going to find out whether I can beat the Discovery up this slope. So basically, very steep slope. It's all about momentum, power, poise, confidence, being awesome, all that kind of stuff. The car's approaching departure angles won't really matter too much because they're so jacked up. In case you're wondering, the Discovery is, is 36 at the front and 28 at the rear. This is 41 degrees at the front and 37 at the rear but they're so lifted it won't really matter now we're both going to go up in low range mode he's going to go in third gear i'm going to go in second gear just because he's got more speeds to his gearbox he's got eight speeds i've got six we're going to have our stability control on we're on maximum ride height we're going to see what happens i need to win this to at least draw if he fails and and i complete it i'll win the challenge but i don't think it's going to fail this is all about whether i can just draw even That has absolutely flown up there. I don't know what I'm gonna to do to beat that. I can go quicker, maybe jump it at the top. There's not much runoff, so if I do that, I might crash. Bugger, let's do it. That was a good job, actually. Traction all the way. Oh, it's so close. Top gun, then. <laughs> It was close, wasn't it? It was close, very close. Tell you the truth, with the blooming tent on top, it looked really good. Flew up there. This felt like I was you were in the, the Dakar. Edge. No! No! <laughs> on the edge! I was in full control in the Dakar. <laughs> okay, okay, go on then. Yeah, so, what one? No, I'm surprised I'm saying this because of the roof tent, but I think the disco just got that. Really? Just. It did look good. It did look good. I wasn't expecting it to go out there as well as it did. I was expecting it to wobble around. It was well stable. I was yeah, so was. surprised. How about this in terms of the this traction? Done very well. It was, again, fat tyres. Ah. Uh, it was just spinning. Again. Oh, really? I thought yeah. the traction, I couldn't feel it spinning that no, much. No, because all four wheels are going at the same time. Oh, okay. So <laughs> okay. <laughs> that had better traction? Yes. Why do people fit such wide tyres then? What's the benefit? Well, it's all right for if you're driving on uh, soft mud. Yeah. Because you know, you're, you're, you're gonna float across it a little bit better than digging in. Grass um, and, and sand. Well, there you go. So, two points. Two points. Just one. You know what that means? It means the Discovery's won. It's won. 10 points to eight. Only just though. Only just. It's more expensive, that's like yeah. 100,000 pounds. This is like 20 yeah. all in. If I had a choice. About this. Really? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. But, money anyway. but that one and yeah. that's what really matters here anyway i hope you enjoyed the video if you did give it a like if you want to watch some more videos click on those windows there and click on that box there if you're thinking about selling your car you can do it through car way it's dead easy you just upload some photos give a brief description then our dealers all across the country will bid on your car you accept the highest offer they'll come to your house take the car away put the money straight into your account simple thanks for watching